as well as determine the domain and the range. Okay? So the main important thing we need to make sure we have it written down is what exactly is the function. Because a lot of students forget a function. They get confused on functions. They forget domain and range. They swap domain and range. So the best thing to do is have it written down for you so you can always go back and retrieve it. All right? Now, um, basically, again, remember a function is a relationship between the x and the y. They have unique values. The domain is the set of all x values, and the range is the set of all y values. So basically what I have here is three examples. I would put these in a different box up in there, and then just write out those graphs. Okay? And basically what we're going to do is we're going to determine if it's a function or not, and if it is, to identify the domain and range. Now, for it to be a function, remember every x value has to uniquely map to one y value. Okay? So for instance, for the x value of um, for the x value at 2, when x equals 2, is there a coordinate, is there a point on that graph where there's a y value when x equals 2? Yeah, it's like down here. Right? It's like negative, it's really, you know, assuming I'm just making this up. But you guys can see for the value of x, there's only one value y, correct? There's not two values. If there's two values or three or four, it wouldn't be a function. So whenever you have for every x value, now is there any way, is there any reason for you guys to believe that for other x values, just looking at this graph, that the x is going to have more than one value at any value at any point? No. And the best way that we like to teach this, because it's pretty easy visually to look at that, is what we call using the vertical line test. Because as you guys can see, if I was to create a vertical line at x equals 2, the vertical line only crosses the graph one time, right? Meaning that the x value, there's only one x value, I'm sorry, there's only one y value at the, x, at the x value of 2. So as we move this vertical line across, you can see that the vertical line never crosses the graph more than once, meaning there's only one unique y value for each x value. So that is a function. Now let's go and determine the domain and range. The domain is the set of all x values. As you guys look at this graph, you can see that this graph keeps on expanding. Right? As this graph goes down, it's going to keep on going to the left. And as it keeps on going to the left, it's eventually going to approach negative infinity. So we can say negative infinity. And then as this graph goes down, but remember, x is, we're dealing with x, which is left and right. As the graph goes down, it's going to continue going to the right, which will take it to positive infinity. The range is the set of all y values. Now we're looking for the y values up and down. You can see that this graph kind of plateaus, right? It has a maximum point. So first thing we always want to do is the lowest point. See how far graph the graph goes down. So how far does this graph go down? Negative infinity. And then it's going to go all the way up to 0. Now, 0 is included in this graph, so I'm going to use a bracket rather than a parenthesis. And we'll talk more and more about this once we get into um, a little bit more difficult problems. OK, so for the next one, you guys can see that. Let's go and look at x equals 2 again. At x equals 2, we have an issue. We have a positive value where y is positive, and we have a negative, right? We have two points when x equals 2. So therefore, this is not a function. You can also see that it does not does not pass the vertical line test. So this is not a function. All right. Um, for this next one, you guys can see, if you guys just look at this vertically, you can see this would pass the vertical line test. The domain, let's see. We always go as how far left does the graph go? Mr. McLogan? Yes. Yes. Could you please send Quincy Harrell to the front office for a moment, please? OK. Let's go around that way, please. Um, so as you guys can see, this graph is continually to go to the left. So the farthest it's going to go to the left is negative infinity. However, as the graph is approaching to the right, it doesn't go all the way to infinity. It stops. And at what x value, because we're talking about domain, x values, at what x value does it stop at? 2. That's included. So you're going to use a bracket. All right? And then range, 
you can see again that this arrow is going to go to the left and continue going up. However, the lowest that it goes into is it kind of bottoms out at 3. So it'd be 3 comma infinity. All right. Now I got.